Hey, I am back. Thanks for bearing with me, guys. I really appreciate the patience. I know we are all human here, and humans have to do, you know, human things sometimes. So uh, let's continue on here. Down into the depths of the hell. We have destroyed the demon gate. Though let's see. Mbuck253 and J Bulls in the chat. Hey, thanks for joining us. Thanks for chiming in here. Um, yes, Gazongas. I know I'm a dumbass, but the character's going to die, so. I didn't want to name the character something awesome and get super attached to the character. Although it is, you know, very easy to get attached to Gazongas. Har har har. <laughs> uh, that's also a kind of, of a, a dumb things. social commentary now. on the fact that um, all Blizzard's female characters you are kind of like super scrawny, position. scantily clad, hypersexualized versions of what their male counterparts are. And I don't know, I... I, I don't really, like, I I, I want to say that I don't like getting involved in the whole sexism and blah, blah, blah. I don't like getting involved in that argument because I, I hate, I, I consider myself middle of the road on a lot of that. Like, yes, I do believe that, you know, sexism is garbage and I, I don't know what thoughts I'm trying to convey here. But basically, I'm middle of the road, and I hate extremes one way or the other, so I don't like making the conversation. But it's still like, okay, the fact that the female version of every character has no tit armor. They're just they're just out there no matter what. It's like here, I'm fighting, uh, I'm fighting, you know, demons from the depths of hell in fucking Thong, because that's what the boys want to see. And I don't know, I just... I think you can do better, and you can do better as a, as a, a game developer and as like an art designer than just making you know normal hypersexualized chick as as your female character. And I think that's the last I'm going to say about that because, like I said, I really don't like to dwell on political issues here. Protection Shrine! Yay! Protect me, Cone! Burn down, there we go. Good kill, good kill. Demon Summoner, we need to get rid of those. Alright, so this is actually towards the end of the, uh... This is more or less the finale of the third act here. So the third act is a lot faster than the, uh, the first act here. There we go, that's taken out. Is he gonna summon something nuts? No, it's not. Anyways, and it is a fantastic finale to the third act, and it goes on for a while, uh, which is great or dumb, depending on how you feel about it. Um, I personally like it. Man, I just wasn't even aiming there. Fuck me. <laughs> uh, let's see. I want to say hey, or hi to hey Caitlin in the chat. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for coming by and saying hey. Uh, we definitely appreciate the interaction. I like uh, I like being able to talk to the people I'm uh, streaming for. I think it's fun. It's one of my favorite parts of Twitch streaming. Um, so yeah, we are in the finale of the third act. It uh, culminates with a couple big awesome boss fights. Uh, although the last boss fight we were in, which was friggin' dire, was actually a badass boss fight as well. That actually... That, that last boss fight could have gone either way. If I hadn't been able to get away the way I did, that could have uh, ended very badly for me. <laughs> I'm, gla I'm glad I have the defense stats that I do. If I didn't, I could have been one-shotted by pretty much any one of those bosses' attacks there. <laughs> she is not my healer. My healer is my uh, Crusader, which is an awesome addition to the game because there's... There's two classes that are technically designed to have, you know, straight-up healing properties in this game. Uh, one of them is the Monk, which has uh, healing auras and stuff like that. And the other one is uh, um, the Crusader, which was in addition to the expansion, the Reaper Souls expansion, which is now part of this. Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Desecration! We do not fuck with Desecration. That shit will one-hit me. Um... Yeah, not my healer. This is... This is this is my experiment. This is my can I hang in the hardcore big boys and have fun doing it. Character, hardy hardy har. 
hate running out of hatred. I really need to focus on uh, resource management here a lot more. Yeah, burn them all down. Oh, hey. We're already on to the next area. This is where shit gets super cool. This whole section, if you're into, like, dark metal shit, is like, fuck, yeah. <laughs> Great aesthetic for the last part of this, uh, part of this act here. And for those of you who haven't seen it before, I won't spoil anything for the third act, but the third act, uh... Or the, not the third act, excuse me, the fourth act really ups the ante as well. In terms of like, holy fuck, shit's going down. For lack of better English. Um, I am currently playing, uh, let's see, uh, mbuck253 is asking me if I'm playing on PC or console. This is the Xbox One version of the game. Um, I actually really prefer this game on console um, versus on the PC. I feel like uh, it's 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 a better package overall, but it's also a much more chillax game because you can play it with a controller while laying back on your couch if you want to. Um, which is, you know, one of my favorite parts about the game is if I'm just like trying to chill at the end of a long day, I can just sit back and kill some demons. It's great. I don't have to hunch over a mouse and keyboard on a uh, on a PC and. Yeah. So yeah, in in my opinion, the console version of this game is uh, superior to the uh, to the PC version. Just just because of the, the updates they've done to it, and the fact that you can play it, you know, pretty relaxed if you want to. Um, also, if you're thinking about picking it up and you have the Xbox One, it is currently on sale for thirty bucks as opposed to sixty on the Xbox One. So. If you've been on the fence about picking this game up, now is definitely the time. Because uh, this, for 30 bucks, you're getting a ton of game. Yeah, for, th for 30 bucks, you're picking up what can easily be a three to 500 hour game with the, with the amount of replayability that the game has. And like that sounds like a lot. I mean, there are mo it, the the campaign is short, but with the adventure mode and everything, there are monster hunter esque levels of replayability built into this game. Oh man, I'm taking so shit. Oh shit, I'm frozen. I wasn't paying attention. I'm an idiot. Get away. <laughs> the damn panic button there. Yeah, this is a fantastic game. If anybody wants to pick it up, I highly recommend you pick it up. You will not... I would hope you wouldn't be disappointed. This game kind of has everything. Um, people ask me to... Or I have been asked to kind of compare this game to another game. Like any, like a top-down action RPG or something. And Torchlight, which is just basically... It's a great game, but it's basically a shameless ripoff of Diablo. Uh, really comes to mind when it comes to similar games, but when people ask me a game that it's really similar to, I like to compare this game to, uh... Oh shit, I need to get all the way over there. I like to compare this game to Borderlands in the Borderlands series, because Borderlands is basically this game in terms of, like, the, uh, crazy unique characters with cool skills, um, picking up tons of loot, but in, in the form of a first-person shooter as opposed to a top-down action RPG. So, I would say if you've never played a game like this before and you like Borderlands 2, you would love this game. But if you do like games like this, this game is definitely worth the money, especially on sale. Like, holy shit, is this game worth the money. Your presence. I've purchased this game technically Please. twice now because I purchased the vanilla version Every back when I or back when I played it on Xbox 360, and voice. now I've purchased this game. And I put... I put countless hours into both versions. Is this, this is one of those games you pick up and it, it never leaves your console kind of thing. Oh man, I'm gonna need some throat lozenges after this stream. I love streaming and I love being able to, to keep the dialogue going and keeping up the interaction and everything, but holy shit does your voice hurt after a while. Definitely get... Ooh, so. 
treasure goblin over there. Oh, hopefully we haven't aggroed them yet. Oh shit, it's shooting at the treasure goblin. No! No, we have to kill it before it gets away. Yes, we did. Badass. Alright. And we're getting very close to the end of the... Uh, Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, I'm actually, I'm not in trouble here, because I have my vault, but uh, I don't like the damage fields they were laying down. Oh, and the desecration is no fun for me. Uh, let's see, M Buck says that he is deciding between this and Sunset Overdrive. In terms of replayability, uh, I personally have not played Sunset Overdrive, but based on what I've seen, Sunset Overdrive is just kind of another Ratchet and Clank with a different aesthetic, which is great, and it's a great game, but it's not the world-shattering paradigm shift in video gaming that I guess people expected it to be, I think. And granted, it de it's definitely holding up to its expectations a lot better than a lot of other games that have come out that were supposed to promise the world, like Destiny, cough, cough. Um, but um, in terms of just awesome, solid, almost endless gameplay, I, uh, I definitely prefer this game. Like I said, I haven't played I haven't played Sunset Overdrive, and I'm sure somebody in the stream right now is like, that's fucking bullshit. You don't know shit about games, blah blah blah, and you're probably right. <laughs> but uh, that's my opinion. If you don't like it, you can disagree. <laughs> oh wow, a ton of elite packs here. This is uh this could be bad. Oh man, we gotta build our hatred back up. Uh, freeze field. No, I got frozen. Oh, well, they're so close to death, it's not going to affect me too well. Get out of there, run away. All right. My pack is full. Oh, no, I'm out of bag space. we got to go back to town. Oh, well. I saw Dragon Age... Uh, I saw Inquisition, and I saw all the coverage for it, and I saw that they were fixing all the dumb bullshit. Uh, shit, I'm actually going to equip those. I saw all the dumb bullshit that was associated with it, and while they are fixing all the stuff, all the problems they had with the first and second game, it's basically, Dragon Age is kind of bl too bland to me. And I feel like I need to justify that comment, because while it is technically a fantastic game, it's... It's... It's become... It's... It uses the generic... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It uses the generic Bioware... Uh, frame for gaming now. Like, if you look at it, it... Bio... Like, there are certain game studios and they're known for doing specific games and that's all they're known for nowadays. Ubisoft has the massive open world, you know, do all the side quest X games, uh, case in point Watch Dogs, Assassin's Creed series, and now the Far Cry series, which is just a first person shooter take on the same formula. Uh, let's throw this stuff in here. Man, Mossboss keeps sending me messages but he won't jump in the stream. Let's see if I can get him jump in the stream. Uh, yeah, Destiny, I will never purchase Destiny. Um, but, um, all, all these big game studios are, are becoming known for doing just one thing now. And, <clears throat> I don't know, I don't like that. I don't want to be picking up token Ubisoft game, or token Activision game, or token EA game, you know what I mean? It, it bothers me. It bothers me that there isn't, that there's like,